Uh, yeah, I, this is something new, but it's kind of cool when they uh, they got these like glamour shots uh, of everybody. Uh, Mira is looking, she's looking real good. She's got usually, I mean, and, and they, they all look good, but usually she's got like, uh, she's got these girls on that they, they, they're cute. If they were on their own, they'd look, but they, they look really pale compared to her, but everyone she's got on looks kind of cute. Joe Hills, uh, got a, got a Minecrafter up. Uh, at the top of the list, and then Bob Ross, he's uh, painting up a storm. Now we'll see if the mic's working. Mic check, mic check, mic check. Hey! I, you know, I, I know, I know... And this, I, I don't know, but it it looked like it wasn't working. I mean, I couldn't hear it. But now everything's good. The mic. I mean, I, I did a few streams. where I mean, when I started it up, I could not hear a thing. And I didn't really change the volume. Um, but I, I got it to finally start working after I unplugged the mic or reset everything. So I don't understand it, but then when I'm putting them up, I, I could hear my I, I could hear myself doing the mic checks, but uh, when I was watching it, I couldn't couldn't make anything out. Uh, and I don't know if the problem's on my end or if the problem is uh, or if the problem was on you know the uh, my. Uh, my software that was catching the stream. Oh, hey, I'm gonna just hit on this real quick. Uh, if you could, I mean, I, I mean this sincerely. If you could really help me out and uh, uh, help me get legalized or legalized assisted suicide. Um. I've got internet, or I'm, I'm not internet. I got I got healthcare, but I got something I don't completely understand it. I'm gonna try and take a read of it, but I I had it, and I thank God I had I had it when I needed it. I broke my leg, but they were, yeah, you know, it's 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 fucked up because of Republicans. I I, I just I I don't consider that being political. It's a fucking fact. Uh, they, uh, they got work requirements that were suspended. I didn't know anything about it. I just got, and it might not even be real. It, it could be bullshit. Um, but they got work requirements. And if I could fucking work, I would be out having a job. So if you got, I mean, I really, I really need you to do it, um, to, to, bitch and moan to your congressman and get that legalized suicide passed. Uh, mostly because if I go, if I commit suicide the way it is now when it's illegal, it voids my life insurance policy. Um, there should be enough to bury me. That, that's why I'm really pushing for it. Um, I, I've I, I've got it set up. I get I get job requests, I get job offers, and I think every fucking one of those sites is a fucking scam now. Because I, I keep getting I keep getting these ones where like I, I mean I'm not kidding you. They, oh, you know hey you know AFKC you know due to your searches and your 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 priorities and that we think we've got a job that's just perfect for you. I get these all the fucking time. And it turns out it's either a job that doesn't pay a living wage or it, it's not a job I can do or both, usually both. Um, like there, there's these ones where you, you, fill out, you go fill out surveys and shit. Well, it pays you 50 cents, you know, if, if, if you're lucky. It, it takes like a half hour 
45 minutes or more and it might pay 50 cents when you're done well fuck don't waste my time with that shit and you know almost almost most of them the real jobs they're not anything i can do or i'd be out fucking working um so please you know it you know if it comes to it it comes to it but i i would really like to get cause, i mean we live in a world where they let kids die in mass shootings because of fucking gun nuts and fucking stupid people and people with small fucking penises. Um, you know, we, we should be able to have that. You know, it, it just, you know, they, they got it where they can go and uh, go to a court and they can unplug somebody whose family wants them to live. You know, and uh, they got to get every, you know, sometimes it's a kid with whole life ahead of them and they're fucking pulling the plug. So don't, don't give me this shit. You guys can you guys can undo it. You you should be able to get this done. Uh, we live in this fucking world where um, these Republicans got everything fucked up. The, the jobs don't pay a living wage. They got disability fucked up. Even if you get on it, I look at what my brother goes through. Um, I mean, oh my god. Um, I mean, again, he you know he. It is what it is, but he's there now. You know, forget how we get here. He's there now. And, you know, I, I, I'm I, pretty sure I was drugged or poisoned for bringing up quality issues and shit when I was working at General Motors. But, uh, um, they don't, they don't pay him enough. They, they do not pay him enough. Even, even if he didn't fucking, I, I guarantee you, he doesn't do very much. He does, he does shit he shouldn't do. But he doesn't do too much of it. I mean, even even if you put it to where he was spending every fucking penny on fucking his food, and that that isn't even he isn't even factoring in uh, uh, life and your uh, living expenses like a rent or whatever. If he spent every penny he got on food, it wouldn't be enough. Um, and, and I'm not talking him eating like a. I'm talking like basic survival, like what he's eating now, and. Uh, it it just I mean it just ain't right. They they've got it so fucked up, uh, and I just don't want to fuck with it anymore. I mean it. When you look at what's going on, we could go to hell in a handbasket. I mean I'm actually glad that we got we got crooked judges. We got fucking people in the DOJ and the FBI. Nobody's investigating them. I mean, they, they just announced, oh, they, they, they arrested somebody for lying to the FBI. This has been going on for a couple of years. What about the fucking agents that were fucking vetting this guy? You know, I mean, they, they're they just as guilty, the, the, the uh, in, you know, the investigation. when And, and this is the thing that, uh, that U.S. attorney that they had uh, investigating the investigation, you know, they... They, uh, they didn't believe all the evidence that Russia was involved with Trump, so they investigated the investigation. The, the, the U.S. attorney that was doing that had everybody and his cousin coming up and telling them that Trump was dirty. They, they, were, bringing them, they were bringing them evidence on Giuliani, and I, I might be wrong, but there, there were like two or three people in Trump's orbit, I think Trump himself, and they brought him the evidence that... That they, you know, the evidence that could be acted on, that it wasn't, you know, the investigation. It was the people being investigated that were dirty. And that fucking sleepy fuckhead that uh, Biden put in charge of the uh, Department of Justice, he's sitting around like Mr. Magoo, fucking walking around waiting for an animal to talk to him because he, you know, he isn't doing anything. Um, I... I, I just and I, and I don't want to be mean. I don't want. I don't expect anybody else to fucking pay for me. Um, and I don't want to go through the shit you have to to be on disability. Um, it used to be you could retire when you were 55. You know, I I would be like a year away. I I think I've got enough. I could I could float it till then. You used to be you could you know you could retire at 55. Well, that's fucking gone. And I think somebody, I can't remember, I think somebody reached out to me that they were a lawyer and they could help. 
Well, fuck, it's probably somebody connected. I think she said she, she, she's she got a connection to GM. And it's like, give me a fucking break. Uh, so, if, if you could just do that. I, I just don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> but um, I'm feeling at least better to where I can do some stuff like for the longest time I think a good three four months I I I was not feeling it but uh I got uh I don't die as much anymore Th this thing here when it was built uh uh, Silent Whisper said you wouldn't have too much. Now it might be because I I didn't build it as is. I built it uh built it built it a little different. I did an add on to it, but uh, he didn't have his when I started this a while ago. I don't think he had his. Um, I don't think he had his. Um, his one to include a mine, uh, to include a uh, iron farm. So I, I built one on. I I, I did it because I, I it, it's working pretty good because uh, I'm I'm running the storage space. Uh, when that when it finally comes out, if I'm still around, uh, when it finally comes out, they've got those. Uh, those things where you can build uh, the fucking auto crafters or whatever, and then I'll be able to build those where they will just turn everything into a, a fucking uh, ink, uh, uh, a fucking big thing. Uh, but uh, what I've done is I've got this one here, and I built this. I built this because this is the way you used to build them. Well, they don't work with bread rock. They, I don't think they ever did. They don't have, um, oh, God, I forget what they call it. It's in Java, and it was in the original, uh, it was in the original uh, version for uh, PlayStation before Bedrock, but quasi-connectivity with the Redstone or some shit like that. And uh, I built it the way you were supposed to build it, and it didn't work, and then I just added these blocks, and then what it does is when it when it's lit up, it powers should power everything, and then it shuts off, and then that pushes the things up pretty fast, and then it drops them in here, and then this here, and I've already screwed up once. I dumped a whole bunch of uh, dumped, dumped a whole bunch of armor into the chest bucket, but then this one here. Uh, I've got it underground. It comes back here and puts, I can pick out the, and it comes out here. It kicks out the iron. And then when it gets here, this, this is the, this is pretty much what I got on the other one. This fires it up. As soon as it senses that there's stuff in the, uh, in the, the, the dropper, uh, it sends out a redstone signal. It starts a clock. Uh, this here is a redstone clock. And uh, and then it'll power this, which will get, get this thing working. Now, this is all you really need on... on uh, this and this this hits every it hits every other box uh like when this one's powered up this one isn't when this one's powered up this one isn't but it, it sends them up pretty quick and this will put everything into uh here and then this one here i just built over the weekend uh i gotta finish it it ain't quite finished but uh this is a uh bamboo farm and I'm gonna change it up. I uh, I've got it. 
I've got it where there's redstone on the cobblestone, and then that observer, uh, The observer uh, fire is fired by that uh, is fired by that uh, the daylight sensor. If you you can just use the daylight sensor, and that's what I'm I'm probably gonna go to that, or I'm gonna go to like a redstone uh, thing, but. Uh, If you got something that grows a lot quicker than the bamboo, uh, you can use that. And then what it does, every time that sunlight, either the sunlight or the moonlight changes, it will fire. So it'll fire multiple times throughout the day as the sunlight. So that, that's like a real quick timer. Like if you don't need a real fast timer, that one's not that bad. But it really grows, uh, it grows too slow to make use of it. And... Uh, But I, I might leave it as is because the way it looks, uh, it's it's already, I'm getting a little, I'm getting one or two here and there, and it's a supplement. I'm going to, I'm going to go get, I'm going to build a lava eventually that we can feed in here too. But uh, since that's going to be a lot of uh, armor if I use it, um, it will figure in when I'm using that, uh, when I'm using that, it will grow at night. Because I've got lights on. I think it'll grow at night. And uh, what'll happen is uh, it, it'll get more in. Otherwise, I'll turn it to uh, the nighttime and uh, and it'll grow a lot more. Although, I don't know if that'll work, but uh, we got that on. Okay, that, that covers what we got going now. I'm going to do my fishing stream. I don't have my fishing hat on. Um... Uh, but, uh, oh shit, I know what I was going to do. Uh, completely vegged it out. going to come in here and finish this. Oh, come on. Okay. Now, uh, it's probably a little bit of overkill, but I, uh, I noticed that the, the this thing uh, this thing when it was growing at night it was growing a little bit taller than what this one would uh so
Well, anyways, the for the UFO segment, thanks for sticking around. Uh, the uh, I was watching uh, Ancient Aliens, and I believe it was a new. I, th I think they're new episodes, but it's this. Uh, I think they got used to doing it when the pandemic was on, because they can. A lot of times they can reuse stuff from old shows. Oh shit. And uh I gotta go over the bed now. But uh it was uh they were doing a top ten alien encounters or something like that. And uh one of them, I had never heard it before. Like, they had Rendlesham Forest, and these are all ones I'd heard before. This one was genuinely new. I don't know what year it was from. Nope. No, no trident for me. I'm not. I wasn't trident worthy for that battle. Uh, but uh, sorry about the breakdown I did. But it just uh, I, I don't know. I've I've had uh, I had one incident where uh, I got an email and they, oh, we found a job just for you. They're like the the fucking Air Force is looking for you, and, and I mean it, it. The Air Force is not looking for me. I I got I got a news flight for the and it was for a registered nurse job or some kind of a nurse, and it's like oh my god, yeah you know, they're they're just throwing everything at the wall and seeing what'll stick. Um, but yeah, they, they thought the Air Force wants me for a nurse job. It's like, yeah, you fuckers, you're, you're a scam. You're a scam. Uh, at least one of them sites, when uh, when it started up, they they were like, oh, well, uh, one of them said that there were jobs that you could get for like $900, you know, all the time. And, and then I started getting these uh, emails from scams. And, and and it's like it was for nine hundred dollars, and it's like yeah okay. And I I'm not I'm not doing a scam. I I'd, I'd rather I'd rather take a different way out than try and fucking scam somebody out of their fucking money. If I, if I go to jail, I'd rather it be for killing the people that I think did this to me. Uh, I, I don't want to go for fucking scamming some fucking charity out of its money so that people, you know, at least people they're trying to help are getting something. But, uh, yeah, I just... Anyways, uh, this uh, UFO thing, it was a commercial pilot, I believe. I don't know what year it is. Um, if I might, I might do, I might watch the show, take some notes on it. Cause there's more, there's more in it than just like nine, nine other encounters or whatever. But, uh, oh fuck. Oh my God. Th this, I, this this is like this is what I did with the the thing I uh I put them in there instead of the other one at uh, the other one uh. But uh, the UFO started bombing this guy, and, and I want to get. I put a post up on uh, Stitch or Stitch or uh, Threads. Um, 
it's a part of a bigger picture. But uh, they started dive bombing. They said they were flying around him. And then finally, one of them was flying right at his ship, or more than one. And when they'd come up, instead of crashing in, they'd duck under him. There was at least one that did that. And then when one of them, at least one of them got underneath them, the plane bumped into him. And, and this wasn't a jet fighter. I believe it was a commercial pilot, So, but it was a small plane. Because it, it wasn't it wasn't like a, an Airbus or whatever one of these big super sonic super super planes or whatever, uh, and it flew under him, bumped into him, and then his it started. He thought it was I'm assuming thought it was like turbulence or fucking with him, and he was trying to trying to fly it, trying to correct for it. And then he realized he's not in control of the plane. It, like, bumped into him and started flying his plane, took over the controls. And I know this this is pretty hard to believe. This is pretty fucking hard to believe. And uh, then uh, he started calling in. They had the actual... Uh, the actual Mayday call. He's like, Mayday, Mayday! You know, and he told the whole story. Again, th that, that... I mean, maybe the guy's nuts. Maybe he was making it up. But they've got evidence. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's not just his word. He's got the broadcast. And they should have the radar. So again, maybe he flew it up and, and made the whole thing up. But he didn't sound like he was making it up. He sounded like he was terrified. And, 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 you know, so there was that. And then I, I did a, I did a thread on it where, and this is on my, this is on, this isn't on my gaming account, so don't bother looking for it. Um, the, uh, if, it, you know, I, I don't know if I would do it with, with whatever time I got left, but if they, if they, if threads put stuff in so that you could change between, accounts like uh like uh twitter did i would at least consider it but since you got to go through the whole login and stuff it's just not 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 worth it not for the little bit of time i have left um but uh but uh he uh you know he get, he's got this and then i mentioned you know i'm putting all this together when then you look at uh, you look at uh, that one representative, and I don't know if he's full of shit. He 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 seems like he's he seems like he's a decent guy. Might be an act, I don't know, but um, sounds like he's good on this, and everything else he's just fucking stupid on. Um, but he. Uh, and his name's Tim Burchett. I mean, he seems like a nice enough guy. You know, he seems like a likable guy. Uh, I think he's full of shit. On he, He's like... Uh, uh, I can't think of the guy's name. Uh, he's on the left. He, he's in my family here. Uh, but he's, he's in my group. Uh, Kucinich, I think his name was. He, he's like... He was like the, the liberal version of... Uh, Ron Paul, not Rand Paul, his kid. Ron Paul, his the dad. He seemed like the liberal version of him. There's one or two subjects you get him on. He's really good. And then he just seems fucking crazy on the rest of it. And Ron Paul was the same way. Uh, he he sounded real good on one or two issues, and then he sounded like absolute crazy on there. Like he he had one of those presidential debates. Uh, it, was, it was one of those years where they had like umpteen fucking Republicans running. Uh, he stood up and he got he got laughed off the he got laughed and ridiculed by everybody there, and uh, but he said he goes hey instead of because everybody else was McCain and everybody else was going bomb 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 around, and he he said he goes hey instead of making all this talk about bombing Iran why don't we talk to Iran, 
and find out what 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 it is that we're doing to piss them off and see if we can resolve it you know and then maybe maybe i mean it's and, and I'm, I'm not saying he's right i'm saying he's it's worth a shot and i because i i think personally when you attack somebody you failed as a country you know i mean maybe maybe there's no way you can succeed but you know it, it's stupid not to try and talk to somebody um you know and and you know, make, you make of it what you will, but you can at least try to talk to someone, at least until they show up and start raping your women and kidnapping them. Then, then talk, I, th I think, legitimately is fucking just for stupid people. Uh, like, you know, but enough of that. Um, but, uh, he, uh, this guy, he said, you know, hey, you know, I, I tried to get, uh, an amendment passed, and this was no shit. He he was being interviewed by Chris Cuomo. He's been interviewed. He's been willing to tell this story to anybody, and uh, he uh, he uh, he tried to get an amendment passed, and. Tried to get an amendment passed so that anybody who reported, like this call, uh, you know, that anybody uh, that called in, like did a mayday or did anything with the, uh, you know, radio chatter about UFOs to get turned over to Congress. I think they've got it passed, or I think they've got something, I think they did pass that. That is something they got done. But he was going around saying, well, yeah, we, we tried to get that into the F... I think it was the FFA Reauthorization Act or whatever. But it would have been a little amendment that would have made it any fucking UFO stuff they report to Congress. And someone in the leadership came up and go, yeah, that, that amendment got scrubbed. And he goes, uh, the intelligence community didn't like it. And he goes, the intelligence committee? And, the, and he, he was told, no, the intelligence community, a bunch of unelected people. Now, the FAA is not military. It's not intelligence. It should have been a no-brainer. should have been a no-fucking-brainer to say yes. You know, it should have been a no-brainer to say yes put the big approved stamp on it and send it to the president for uh, for signing. And here's the thing. If if they if they want to tell you that it's bullshit, that there's nothing there, then why are you classifying it? Why 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 won't you do this? You know, if if it really is nothing, if there's nothing there, why isn't it why isn't it done? You know? You know, just pass it. And there, there will be nothing but fucking bullshit and fucking lunatics and all. They, they don't want this out there. And, and I thank God they, they made an announcement that fucking uh, the uh, NASA was going to look at it. And then they had that big fucking nothing burger of a press conference. And I, I, I don't really have anything against the guy. But that, that fo former politician that was in charge of it, he stood up there <coughs> and he goes, yeah, we aren't going to look back. Uh, we're not going to look forward on anything classified. Well, then what's the fucking point? <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, he, he stood up there. I can't remember exactly what it was, but they weren't going to look back at all. Well, you got to look back at all. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta basically look back at everything that's ever happened. And uh, okay, a lot of them cold cases, you're not gonna get an answer, but you can at least try. You know, you gotta look at everything. You know, you gotta, you gotta, and, and you know, because they, they've got the. There was one that they did the other day, that uh, God, whatever, I can't remember what it was, uh, but there was a, a case. Might be the Lubbock Lights. Yeah, I think it was the Lubbock Lights. This was back in the 1950s, and they uh, they looked into it. And Project Blue Book 
their official response was, well, there's something here. This appears to be, there appears to be something here. And he didn't like that. And it was the lead investigator. It was somebody, somebody in charge uh, in the office. I think he was a lieutenant colonel. He, uh, he did his own investigation. And, and it was like this nothing burger that they just had in Congress where they found out the, 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 uh, they found out the, the uh, informant that was reporting to the FBI. He lied to the FBI. And, and we talked about it at the beginning, you know, yeah, now we got to look at the fucking idiots that investigated him and find out what the fuck was wrong with them. But he, he basically, he, he came in, he goes, oh, well, I got, I got some scientists. I got a scientist that told me that what happened at Lubbock Lights was a natural phenomenon. But they can't tell you what it is. Because it'll lead right back to the scientists, you know, and they, the, the people that don't like what he's telling you, well, you know, they're going to be, they're going to be the pre Trump people are going to fucking, uh, fucking harass him or whatever. And, and it's like, and this is what he did. He, he, he fucking put on a, put that on as an official report. It's like, yeah, right. Um, yeah, he's a fucking idiot, but yeah, this is what he did. He, he got his scientists. Well, it, it, it's this. It's a secret natural phenomenon. No, if it's a natural phenomenon, you guys have said it was swamp gas. You guys have said it was ball lightning. If it's a natural phenomenon, you can tell us. You know, um, you know, it, it's like you know, it's like this uh, Comer guy, uh, Comer Comer Pyle. Is, there was one clip they were referring to his, him as Comer Pyle, but uh, there's one where he uh, he goes, well, we got this, we got these secret informants. Well, great. Where are they? Well, they, they're, uh, they're, uh, they, we don't know. And then they're like, what? You, you lost your fucking informant? And he's like, well, they, they live in the, they live in the spy world. And, you know, here they, the two of their inf fucking informants were wanted by the FBI. You know, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like they're in hiding. You know, you if you know anything about it, you need to turn them over to the FBI because one of them was a Chinese spy, and I think the other guy was a fucking Russian spy. And, uh, you know, but that, that's what it, I, I can't tell you. But it was a natural phenomena. I can't tell you what it is. And, you know, so, I mean, really, the fucking or the Republican Party is using these old UFO tactics. And that's how fucking far down the, the, the uh, aisle they've gone. But, uh, but they, they got that one, Walt. Well, this one here, uh, that Burkett, I think his name is, I actually feel, I, I worry about the guy. I, I seriously do because he's saying there is, he's not from his state. There's somebody from another state, and I don't know if it's in the House or in the Senate, but they're trying to find somebody to run against him. Well, if it ain't your state, what the fuck are you doing? You got a guy that can probably get reelected in Tennessee. That 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 is that is. I mean, because he he comes off as a nice guy. He doesn't come off as like an idiot like some of the other. He can come off like a fucking mental patient like Mc um, uh, like uh, uh, McConnell, where he he like I'm I'm starting to do it too. But uh, where he where he'll be sitting there talking, and he'll just sit there and. Uh, uh, and then they all come running to his defense. You know, he's a likable guy. He doesn't look like a mental defect like uh, McConnell does. Um, that, that, you know, especially with what's coming up, that's a safe seat. Leave him the fuck alone. I mean, I, I don't care, but I would like to see him take over the take over the house again. But you got a guy who's in a relatively safe seat. But this guy, I don't remember if he was House or Senate. But I remember them saying, because I think he was he was talking to uh, 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 Co or Cuomo. He was talking about Cuomo. He used to be on CNN, and uh, now he's on News Nation, I think. Uh, he talked to him. Yeah, the, I think he was saying the guy has a lot of these military contracts. Yeah, there's a connection. And so he so and then he came up after he. Oh, I think that was with uh, Gates or whatever, but. Uh, He's got people gunning for him in the Senate. And there was something else, because every now and then he he talks like, uh, 
He talks like he's like he's got a changed head because he was all gung ho. And I don't know if they've threatened him. And he he did talk to Cuomo about that. I think it was him. I'm positive. I'm about as positive I can be anymore. But I think he said that you know they're out. To, you know they're out to end his career. Well, he's gotta fucking watch out because uh, they they never know what they never found out what happened. But there were a couple congressmen that came up missing. This was one. I mean, I'm not making this up. It's on. I think you can find uh, find it. But uh, they lost like uh, I think. God, it was like two or three. Uh, congressman, I don't remember if they were Senate or House, but they were friends with Nixon. And, uh, yeah, I think it was Nixon. I don't think it was Johnson. But they, one of them was good friends with Nixon, and his plane went down in uh, Alaska. And it, it is, I think to this date, it is still the most uh, expensive search uh, that was ever enacted. And they never found them. Now, in Alaska, that's not... But, I mean, I'm just saying, you, you've got these stories that Kennedy was killed. Well, we know Kennedy was killed, but they're, they don't know. There's some speculation it was the mob or the CIA. Well, one of the theories, and it, I've only heard it recently, but they've got some documentation. It's at least circumstantial evidence because they don't, they don't know for sure if the documents are real. But they found documents where it looks like he was killed because he was going to open up to uh, Russia about the uh, UFOs. And they killed him for that. Um, If, and it's a big fucking if, but if they can kill the president, getting rid of a fucking little snot-nosed fucking house member from Tennessee, uh, I got to be honest with you, I kind of half hope that if I make enough noise... Um, either some Palestinian <laughs> Palestinian fucker will come take me out, or uh, the government will. Uh, but uh, but no, they 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 could they could make an example of him. And I'm not so sure. It seems like the worm is turning a little bit, but I I seriously think that there's a little bit of this going on with Hunter's kid and with that one senator. I'm not saying the senator didn't do it. I don't know. But every indication is that they knew about this and they didn't care. And then, like Hunter, if if there was really something there with Hunter, fucking Trump would have fucking jumped on it. I mean, if, if if they'd have really had something on Hunter, uh, Trump would have filed charges. Barr would have filed charges. I mean, they they were investigating him when they were in office. Uh, I mean, if there was really something there, well, then all of a sudden they they got it, and it was right around. I think it was right around the time that they started pushing for this UFO discovery. And I, I'm gonna harp on this because I think it's valid. Uh, that governor of uh, that governor of uh, Arizona, I think it is the 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 Phoenix Lights. When he pushed on it, he was just a lowly governor, but he was pretty visible because it was there was it was news all over the place. Well, it was the same thing. It was the same thing with Biden. It was the same thing with that Senator uh, Menendez or whatever. Uh, it wasn't like anything new. They didn't have a break in the case. It's just when he started pushing on, I I might be wrong, but it seems to me that when he started pushing on the UFO issue, all these charges just fucking appeared out of nowhere. And, you know, it might be that he was guilty of everything, but they didn't care until the UFO thing came up. And it appears that that was this way with Biden and with uh, the senator. It sounds like when they were, because I think the the Biden, uh, Hunter Biden got picked early on. I think I think he did it when uh, Senator Christian uh, Gillibrand was uh, bringing it up, and then she got she had some assistance from Mark Rubio. They were they were I mean they used to talk about this, and it, it was like they were like oh well then we just got a couple junior fucking senators. 
we'll just put some pressure on the uh, the White House, and even if they get it passed, we'll we'll uh, we'll get him to squash it. He'll veto it or something, or he'll just you know ignore it. And uh, well, then after they won the House, you uh, you saw them push a little more. And then the other thing that you saw, as soon as they got the house, Matt Gates and the, and the Crazy Eight or whatever, uh, they, they started pushing. And I swear, I, I sincerely think that somebody went to Matt Gates and go, hey, if you're, if you're our little puppet, we can, uh, we can keep you out of jail. I, I firmly, I, I, it's just a feeling I have. And I'm not, I'm not I don't know. But it just seems like because even his own Republicans were like didn't understand what he was doing. Well, yeah, he was making noise. He was gonna he was gonna fuck up the Senate and get them to where they just had to accept whatever was put in front of them. Well, that didn't work. Chuck Schumer came forward and he was gonna he was gonna you know he started pushing for disclosure. He he one upped them. He was going to seize them. He was going to fucking imminent domainly seize everything UFO related. And, you know, so, you know, to me, I look at this, it all looks the same. You know, it all looks like part of a bigger puzzle. And maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I'm crazy, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, and, uh, and like Corbell, it's either him or Knapp. It's one of those two guys. They uh, George Knapp is a longtime uh, award-winning journalist, and he covers the UFO subject. I don't think he's ever gotten an award for covering, uh, at least not from a journalism organization. But he 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 can cover the UFO stuff, and he's still widely respected to cover real news. Not everybody gets to do that. Usually, uh, when you would touch the UFO. It's like it's like in uh, it's like in the movies. Once you do the porn, you're not gonna get picked by anybody who wants to do real movies. You're gonna be labeled as porn, and that's what you're gonna. Well, it's the same thing with the UFO thing. When you're a journalist and you dip into that fucking tainted well, uh, but he he was a good enough journalist that he could he could kind of keep his respect and you know delve into the UFO subject. Uh, but the thing is. I don't think he's ever changed. He's uh, he's done solid reporting. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into this subject. That that'd be for a different uh, different podcast. But uh, one of them said that uh, your pilots now, uh, all and they're civilian pilots. There might be military pilots too, but they're definitely these civilian pilots. They're seeing these UFOs, and what they're doing is they're taking cameras and video equipment into the cockpits. And they're getting them, and so that's how he's getting them, you know, because they're they're up there when they see something, and so like you know the Congress wants answers, the pilots, and and I I I think I went off I went off on a tangent that uh, when I worked for GM and I was reporting the quality issues, I had this one shift leader. He was a fucking idiot. Um, I, you know, I, the thing is, I there was another shift leader that I kind of respected. She told me that. He uh, he actually w- made a lot of phone calls when I would bring when I and he didn't at first, but when I would bring this stuff to him because I think he knew you know I was making him look bad because I you know they, they they had a thing where like you give it to your supervisor and then after 30 days if your supervisor can't do something about it, it well it's the way it's supposed to work it, I think I'm the only one that was using it but uh, after 30 days. Then you can bump it up to the shift leader. After the group leader, you can bump it up to the shift leader. And then after 30 days, you can bump it up to the area managers, which are the next step up from the shift leaders. And then uh, after that, you can bump it up to the plant manager and assistant plant manager. You know, and that's the way it worked. Well, you know, I gave him his 30 days. It should have been real easy to fit. I, and there were multiple issues, but... Uh, um, you know, it, it was pretty simple. Well, then I bumped it up to his bosses, and then he got on there and tr- started treating me like I was making it up or I was seeing things. 
And I go, oh, I go, well, okay, if you want to insinuate I'm a liar, I'll start taking photographs. I go, I will, I will, I will include photographs with everything else. And I go, when I get it to your level, I will include them so you know I'm not lying. You'll know that he's doing whatever, but he ain't getting it done. And uh, so that, that was, you know, so I, I think that kind of jarred him. Because his bosses were probably like, hey, what are you doing? We got a guy that's actually used. Because uh, the first time I went up to area managers, uh, the one guy that was in on it, uh, I think his name was Greg, he came out and he goes, hey, I want to thank you. Uh, he goes, I wish more people would do it. I, mean, he was, uh, I think he let go, but I think he got let go or got retired or whatever. But he goes, I, I really want to thank you for using the system, and maybe we can get some stuff. He was really nice about it when he came out to talk to me. And, uh, he, uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's a long story, but he came out, heard me out. He goes, well, we'll get into it. He was really cool about it. I was probably the first one who ever elevated something to his level. And, uh, but the, the, the shift leader, and I want to, I, I got a lot of stories I could tell about him. This one I haven't really done before. Uh, after I embarrassed him with his boss, um, it was some time after that, uh, there was, uh, a door panel and we had like the sequence center. I don't know if they've changed it or not, but we were told when I was a team leader, I was going through that training for, for the, 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 the job because they're opening up a new shift. Uh, we were told that they had gotten a commitment from material that the sequence center would be providing us good quality parts that we could install on the vehicle. Cause, uh, we weren't getting it before, during, or after, you know, that, that thing. Uh, because like where I was at, and this is something they were trying to get rid of, but we had, I think we had like one of every type of door panel, uh, that GM used. We had one. We had like one of every door panel that we used sitting around because we knew they were going to send us fucked up parts, and then we could get the fucking line running with you know a good quality part, and then they could bring us another one out. You know, we didn't have to wait for them to. And see, the thing is, you read this, you read into the quality system. See, we should be doing that, and then. The downtime that's created by waiting for that part, that will send flags up, and then that will light a fire under their ass. There, there used to be an old Saturn commercial. They were, I think they were owned by GM. But Saturn kind of explained that system. You know, they, oh, well, we got a problem. We can just stop the line, and we, we, fucking, uh, we can send you a good part, and then we can send it out, and then we can start the line back up, and, and, th and th that's the system we were supposed to be using. If, if we could fix it, we were supposed to stop the line or, you know, run with it until the end. If we were, if we were letting it go, I'm pretty, I think if, at least most of the, you're only supposed to be letting it go if there was, you know, it couldn't be fixed. It was going out to heavy repair. And, uh, when I, when I ended up on the, uh, I'll try to make this quick, um, when uh, I ended up on the uh, IP line, uh, it was my old team. Uh, the girl who worked with me, she knew the uh, she knew the LA that was covering that team, and she had something like this. Was, now this was the brand new at the time pilot or new, brand new vehicle, but she had uh, she had like something like twenty five defects in the system, and I'm like are you shitting me? And she goes, yeah. And I go, good God, that's a ridiculous amount. <laughs> you know, that is a ridiculous amount of fucking defects. And, you know, and, and again, you know, you, at, at that point, you should be able to just let most of them go. Cause I mean, that's just a ridiculous amount. Uh, yeah, that's just a ridiculous amount of shit. You, if you're going to fuck things up like that, then you not need to go back to where you got repair people all over the plant. But see, this is what, again, we were told that we were going to get inspection to 
verify that the or not inspection uh, sequence center. They were gonna fucking guarantee us good quality parts, and they they sent us one out. And I contacted the shift leader, and I contacted the shift leader from the sequence center, or and you know quality, and they both came out. And he he was like, oh, I'm coming out, I'm coming out, and he came out, and it was it was literally like a rip that Helen Keller could see from space. It was a fucking black door panel. There was at least a five or six inch. It looked like someone had, I mean, physically you couldn't do it. If you had that Samsonite gorilla, they might have been able to do it. But it was like five or six inches in length. And the white, the white insulator or noise deadener or whatever, that was like showing. And he came out, he didn't, he thought I was making something up. You know, you you know, no support, no support from this guy whatsoever. You know, he just ship it, ship it, do the repair on the line. If the fucking door gets dented from the guns, who gives a shit? You know, just ship it, ship it. And uh, he uh, he came out, and it wasn't a little thing. You know, I mean, his jaw like fucking dropped. And I got and I got more support from the in, the shift leader in inspection. I did. She was an older black lady. I got I got more support from her. I, I told her, because she, she was leaving. I don't know if she got promoted or what, but I told her, I go, hey, you need to leave a picture of your feet on the desk. And she she was confused. And I go, that way they know that way they know how much, uh, how big a feet, uh, how big a shoes they got to feel. And that cracked her up. And uh, I was doing a lot of knife drills at that time. So, like, when she she went to give me a hug, and when she did, I, like, reacted from my knife drills, and I jumped back. I mean, I... I, I just, I felt embarrassed, you know, I really did, but, uh, I probably should have given her a hug on the spot then, but I, I was real, I felt like a fucking idiot, uh, cause she surprised me. She really surprised me. And, uh, I think the only time I was more, more, up, more embarrassed when I was out jogging and I wasn't paying attention to my surroundings and it was, it was a tiny, it wasn't even a big dog and it jumped up at me to show me some affection and I flipped out. I, I I I flipped that that one there. The dog almost got hit. But uh, that that one was the only time I got scared more than when she 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 was just trying to give me a hug. But uh, but I did. I, I'm like, but he did. His jaw like fucking dropped, and it's like, what the fuck, you know? And, and he didn't say nothing. He didn't give me an apology. Nothing. That fucking piece of shit. He. Uh, Oh my God, it was just embarrassment. I think they, fi- I don't know if he got fired. He should have been fired for some of the shit he did. But uh, they moved him into material. At least got him out of, uh, uh, got him out of production. But uh, oh my God. Um, yeah, that, but it is what it is. But I, I, I mentioned this, you know, I'm like, you know, mentioned that thing about me having to start photographing everything I did because, you know that's what the, that's what these pilots had to do. They you know they got it. Nobody's believing them. You know some of them don't seem crazy. You know Project Blue Book. Some of those people that reported stuff that they did not sound crazy. They sounded credible. Uh, some of the evidence that they picked up made them believe it was real, or there was at least something happening there. And you know, but the thing is, they did one of these interviews with uh, Cor Corbell. And if I can, I will watch it. I don't think I've done a video on it, but uh, they, they he he was being interviewed, and I think it was on Tubi. I, I'll try. I will try and do a video on this. I might forget. I, I've had bad days lately, that's why I haven't been on as much. But uh, the uh, Corbell did an interview, and he was jamming along. He it was really it was one of his best interviews for but again they probably wasn't an interview it was a it was a documentary so they probably had time to set things up and they could do takes and retakes and stuff like that but they they asked him they go are you so you really feel safe and he goes yeah he goes I'm a I'm a journalist blah 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 you know he felt felt really safe and and then the guy who was interviewing him he goes he mentioned I think that Khashoggi that guy that got killed by the Saudis. He goes, he was, a, he was a journalist, bigger than you. He worked for a bigger company. He he was murdered by the Saudi Arabia. That, 
that's why I really want you to watch that one. I will, I will, I will, I, I will try to remember to grab it, but uh, I can't even remember the name of it. But uh, he kind of broke down, and he, he, you know, and that that's why I worry about these guys. You know, uh, uh, that Timber Chet. I mean, I don't care if he's an idiot on everything else. He seems like a hell of a nice guy, and uh, he's right on this. You know, and he, he he for the for the most part has not backed down like a lot of the other ones. They just they don't talk about it. They've gone quiet. And uh, you know, and and the fact that they they were still fucking around with Biden's kid, and they're still fucking around with Biden tells me Biden hasn't backed down either. Uh, he 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 appears to be the good guy on this. And uh, and if if the AG had control of his fucking department, uh, I wouldn't have any doubts. You know, you wouldn't probably, you probably wouldn't see Menendez be in charge. You probably wouldn't see Hunter Biden be in charge uh, because the AG wouldn't let it happen. But he 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 doesn't seem to be fucking aware of anything. Uh, you know, when it when it comes to when it comes to having terrorists, you know, in a party in Congress uh, threatening to take over our government, uh, the, the a party threatening to secede from the union, fucking. Prosecutors come over. Hey, th- these guys were just at the Capitol on January the sixth. We got to investigate their leaders in Congress. You know, they were they were posting 1776. They were posting like uh, whereabouts of the leadership as they were being moved, all on Twitter, all live. Um, we got to investigate them. You know, they, they had everything. They, they had all this. All the Secret Service seemed to. We got to investigate this. He's like, oh, oh no. No, uh, what whatever Mr. Magoo says, he's like, oh no, let let's just let's just get the it's like let's like Benghazi. We gotta or no, not Benghazi. Uh, oh God, I can't remember the name of that prison in Iraq. Let's just get the foot soldiers. Let's just get the low hanging fruit. We'll let the leadership get away. That's what he appeared to be doing. Uh, so he he gets no respect from me, none whatsoever. I mean, they weren't talking about indicting anybody. They weren't tar- talking, charging anybody. They just wanted to open an investigation, and fucking Mr. Magoo couldn't do that. For the the, the FBI director's the same way. He wouldn't authorize it either. Either one of them could have done it, and uh, that, that's just fucking. That's dereliction of duty. Uh, that really is. Uh, they sh- they if if and if the president was really was really on top of it, he'd have fired both of them for cause because of that. But he can't because it's his kid. He's got to be the good guy here, and it's like, yeah, fuck that. Um, but uh, yeah, they, you know, he it, it kind of hit home with him. You know, yeah, journalists can be killed. Uh, they've had it before. Presidents can be killed, at least once. Uh, congressmen can disappear. You know, um, I don't know. I, uh, you know, this, I mean, and there, you know, for me, it ain't that big of a deal. I'm not, I'm not doing that much anyway, so I don't give a shit. But, uh, yeah. But I'll, I'll try and get that going. Um, I'm going to let everybody go. I'm going to, like, I, I, I want the, I want the part at the beginning of it. Peace out. If you uh, see this on YouTube, go ahead and like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment. Uh, if, if you're on YouTube and you're watching us, please stream the part, the good part. You know, not, not when I'm a basket case, but, you know, just, just take a little clip and, and share it on your channel of me asking for you to uh, legalize assisted suicide. It'd help out a lot. Peace out. <laughs>